welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jean Kitchen, spokesperson for Carolina's Gateway Partnership in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Our partnership works to recruit investors like you to bring their business or their clients' business to our very business-friendly area of North Carolina where we have an outstanding quality of life. Not only do we have an abundance of shovel-ready sites with early environmental work already done as well as infrastructure prepared, but we have an eager and prepared, excited workforce waiting for our investors. Our area is nestled between the Research Triangle Park in Raleigh-Durham and the Norfolk Ports in the Virginia area. And yes, we're in a rural area, so our clients are always asking us about affordable health care. And yes, we do have high quality and affordable health care for their families. Today, we are delighted to have as our guest a professional, the CEO and president of Nash UNC Healthcare, Dr. Lee Isley is our guest. Dr. Isley, welcome. We we'll really appreciate your taking time to be here with us today. And tell us about Nash UNC Healthcare, an overview. Thank you. Obviously, as you know, we're uh, located here in Rocky Mountain uh, in the um, Twin Counties, and we really have uh, three hospitals on this campus. Uh, we have Nash General, uh, which is the largest, and it's uh, General Med Surge. Uh, along with cardiac and cancer care, general surgery, and all the specialties uh, that go along with a general hospital. We also have uh, Coastal Plain Hospital, which is a dedicated behavioral health hospital located on campus. And then we have the Brian T. Aldridge um, Rehab Hospital, which is meant to help uh, individuals who have been in the hospital but need a little more attention and uh, rehabilitation. And you covered some of this just now, but tell us about the range of patient care then. It sounds like you cover a broad base as far as what you can do. A great example is our Women's and Children's Center, uh, which uh, delivers over a thousand babies a year. We have a neonatal intensive care unit that can help those babies that need just a little more attention. And that's very rare for a community our size. And so I think that's a wonderful asset. We have a world-class heart center. Uh, we are teamed up with UNC for our cancer care and have access to clinical trials. And through our emergency department, we have um, our stroke um, capabilities and we are certified uh, in that stroke care. Uh, we're able to ensure that uh, and are measured by uh, outside agencies uh, to ensure that we're providing the very best care that you would receive anywhere. How many doctors and specialists about do you have? Sure. I mean, is there, you cover the gamut? Uh, we have about 200 active medical staff, um, about 30 um, specialties, uh, ranging from otolaryngology all the way to cardiology, to cancer, to neonatologist, uh, and everything in between. Mm -hmm. And what happens if, if a patient needs additional services that can't be provided here on our campus? We certainly are uh, committed to providing as much care as we can here locally, but it, like any community hospital, sometimes you need to reach out for tertiary or quaternary care. Uh, we have the helicopter here, and through those uh, connections and calling colleagues, uh, we're able to get those patients um, in a very short period of time to the care that they need throughout the state. What would you say as a closing note for why you think they should come here with healthcare being a strong component? Yeah, through our affiliation with UNC uh, and our medical staff and working together, what they really get is quality care close to home with access to world um, renowned resources and expertise that is really at a fingertip of our medical staff and our healthcare system. Right here at home. Right here at home. Thank you. Thank you.